One day there was a sudden flash of green light that turned every human on earth into stone. That is the central mystery behind Dr. Stone. But even after two full seasons and an hour long TV special, the anime is still no closer to solving this mystery. But with Dr. Stone's upcoming third season, we may finally be getting our answers. There's a lot to look forward to with this new season, so get excited, cause we're going over all of it. For those of you unfamiliar, here's a quick overview of the series. Dr. Stone is the creation of two men. First is the writer Richiro Inagaki, the man behind the sports manga Aisho 21. And the artist is the Korean author Boichi, best known for his manga Sun Ken Rock. Like we already said, the basic premise behind the series is that everyone on Earth was frozen with no explanation. That is until over 3,700 years later when a teenage boy named Senku is suddenly freed from his rocky situation. Senku had always been a science enthusiast, so immediately his new goal is to rebuild society from nothing with the power of science. Of course this runs into a roadblock early on, when one of the first people Senku revives is Tsukasa, a young man who has the opposite of Senku's beliefs. Instead of wanting to use science to bring humanity back, Tsukasa believes that only the young and strong should build a new kingdom without modern science. Despite running in Shonen Jump and having a clear antagonist, Dr. Stone is not a battle-focused series. In a lot of ways, it resembles a slice-of-life comedy. A lot of episodes are dedicated to Senku and his friends trying to invent new things in this primitive world. Of course, as we saw in last season's Stone Wars arc, it was building up to something pretty big, but even then, it still kept a mostly light-hearted tone. If you haven't seen the anime and you think it sounds interesting, we highly recommend reading or watching it. The rest of this video will be going into some spoilers for the end of Dr. Stone's second season as well as what to expect for season 3. So if you want to go into this blind, consider this a warning. But if you've already seen the last two seasons or you're just curious, stick around. Now before we get into what to expect, let's do a quick recap on what's most recently happened in Dr. Stone. After all, it's been quite a while since season 2. So at the end of season 2, the war between Senku's kingdom of science and Tsukasa's empire of might was peacefully resolved. Senku promised Tsukasa to help find an unpetrified sister who before everyone was petrified had been in a coma. They brought back Tsukasa's sister Mirai, and Tsukasa agreed to form an alliance. However, Tsukasa's second-in-command Hyoga betrayed him. Now working together, Tsukasa and Senku are able to defeat Hyoga, but during the fight Tsukasa was fatally injured, and it seems he won't survive. However, Senku still believes that Tsukasa can be saved. Senku realized that when people become unpetrified, they're healed of their injuries. So what he needs to do is petrify Tsukasa again and then break him out. But that will require him to figure out what caused everyone to turn to stone to begin with, something which Senku still doesn't know. So until then, Senku has Tsukasa cryogenically frozen, in order to preserve him until he's able to be revived. Another thing which Senku needs for this plan of his to work is more revival fluid. And if you'll remember, the cave that produces the fluid collapsed during Senku's battle with the Empire of Might. So there are three goals on Senku's mind going into season 3. One. Find the source behind the petrification. 2. Find a way to make more revival fluid. And 3. Heal Tsukasa from his injury. If you watched the TV special Dr. Stone Ryusui, you'd know that Senku is planning to build a boat. But not a tiny fishing boat or anything like that. A full-fledged ship ready to travel the world. Of course, there's still a long way to go before Senku can set sail. During the events of the TV special, he was able to use the last of the revival fluid to bring back sailing enthusiast Ryusui. But right now, the biggest obstacle between Senku and his dreams of a ship is a fuel source. By the end of the special, Senku has invented a hot air balloon which he intends to use in order to find a suitable oil field. Once he has oil, he'll finally have fuel for his ship. Now let's return to that mysterious green light we talked about at the start. The central premise of Dr. Stone revolves around this light petrifying all of humanity thousands of years ago. In the anime, we still know very little about it. What exactly it is, how it was created, and why are all totally unknown. But there are enough facts to get a basic picture. First, the light affected humans and swallows for some reason. Every other kind of animal was left alive for thousands of years, while everyone else was frozen. Senku speculates that if the petrification was man-made, then the swallows were an experiment to see if it worked. Second, the light originated from South America. We know this thanks to Senku's dad and his astronaut crew being in space just in time to see the petrification. Now exactly what happened in South America is still unclear, but one of Senku's eventual goals is to make it to South America and investigate it for himself. The final thing we know is that everyone who was petrified is still alive. The entire bodies are turned to stone and made completely immobile, but they're still able to think. Even if they're smashed to pieces, if they're just put together correctly, they can still be brought back. And as we mentioned before, being revived instantly heals you. It's how Senku was able to come back from seemingly being killed at the end of the first arc. The anime still hasn't answered the mystery behind the petrification. While in most anime, it could be easily explained as some kind of magical spell. Dr. Stone isn't that kind of series. Everything in this anime is based on real science. An exaggerated version of science, sure. 
but still science all the same. So there's likely some scientific explanation for what happened to the world all those years ago. But what exactly it is is still a mystery. But this coming season, we may finally be getting closer to some answers. But this next season will also introduce a new mystery into the world of Dr. Stone. In the manga, while testing a new device Senku made, they start to get some interference on the radio. But they realize it's not normal interference. It's a single word over and over again. Why? The existence of this Y man as a Ryusui calls him is major news. So far, the only other human humans we've met are either those who Senku Osukasa have unpetrified or the people living in Ishigami village. So whoever this Y man is, they must be important. Especially if he has technology that lets him send Morse code. As for what their motivation is or who they are, well, we'll just have to wait and see. There's also one more location we can expect Senku to visit once he has his ship built. While South America is indeed a goal, there's somewhere important for Senku to go before that. The next major arc of Dr. Stone is known as the Treasure Island arc in the manga. We see Senku and his crew visit the island that his father and his astronaut crew landed all those years ago. And it turns out that the island isn't uninhabited either. When people of the island split off to settle in mainland Japan, some stayed behind. This led to two separate societies, the people of Ishigami village on the mainland, and the people of the island that Senku's father landed on. Meeting a whole new cast of characters should be pretty interesting. The series already has a pretty interesting and expensive cast. But here we'll be meeting a whole new group of people who have survived on this island for thousands of years. And what's more interesting is that this civilization also knows something about the secrets of petrification. How exactly they know this and what this means will be a mystery for now. We'll just have to wait and see what happens next. Dr. Stone's third season has a lot to look forward to. New characters, new inventions, and new places to visit. Lately, a lot of our channel has been talking about some pretty dark anime, like Chainsaw Man and Cyberpunk Edge Runners. So if you want a break from all of that and just want to watch something fun, we definitely recommend Dr. Stone. It's got an uplifting, optimistic feel to it. And the central message is all about the great things humans can accomplish through the power of science. And with season 3 coming out in 2023, there's a whole lot to get excited about. So are you ready for the new season of Dr. Stone?